Welcome to Ghost Tales by the Fireside, your weekly source of true ghost stories. This episode is the second part of the series of Haunted Redditch Pubs. The Queen's Head The Queen's Head pub on Queen Street in Redditch has been subject to much paranormal activity over the years. From poltergeists to full apparitions, the pub has had it all. The Queen's Head was originally a hotel in Freehouse. The first recorded landlord was a local needle manufacturer and grocer named Simeon Shrimpton in 1860. The building was demolished and rebuilt in 1935. Many workers and customers have seen and heard many strange things. Here are a few accounts. Around 1997, a young man was living and working in the pub who had many strange experiences. Quite often he would see a man in the cellar that always smelt like cigars. The gas going to the beer would turn off when he was around. In one of the bedrooms, he saw three children sat in the corner by the door playing a game, maybe marbles. An old lady wearing a long black dress was seen opening the door as if she was checking in on the children. The children disappeared and she just stared at him before walking away, disappearing. After hours one night, he was sat in the kitchen with the manager when they heard what sounded like a riot going on in the pub. The manager ran downstairs and found everything normal. A local legend tells of a huge fight going on in the pub many years ago. Maybe it's this fight they heard being played out. In 2005, a couple at the pub and had very similar experiences. One night, the landlord was asleep. He was startled awake by his dog, who was barking and growling aggressively. He tried to get up, and it was as if somebody had pushed him back onto the bed, and the door slammed shut, shutting himself and the dog in the room. He got out of the room and ran up the hallway, when the door in front of him slammed shut. After being startled, he left the pub. He stayed outside until the morning. He had also witnessed an old Victorian lady in a long black dress who would be seen in the kitchen on a regular basis. He would see a man in the cellar who he nicknamed George. George was often seen standing at the top of the barrel ramp, usually when changing a barrel. He is described as around average height, thick set and tough looking. After a bit of research, I found that a previous landlord, George Henry Glover, was a heavyweight boxer he had the pub from 1921 to 1928. In 2015, the pub was taken over by two friends. After locking up one night, they sat in the lounge area to relax for a while when something was thrown at them from beyond the bar. After checking the CCTV footage, you could see the object fly across the room and hit a mirror. On another occasion, a member of staff stayed over one night in the living quarters. He was woken up in the middle of the night by a loud banging and shouting coming from downstairs. He went to investigate and the noise carried on as if a large fight was going on. When he entered the pub area, it was empty and silent. After walking around the pub to make sure there was no one there, he returned back upstairs to have a door open and slam into his face. The Abbeydale Club Abbeydale is a small housing estate in Redditch that was built in the 1950s to help house the population boom after World War II. It was part of the government's Home for Heroes pledge to house soldiers and their families. Before the 1950s, it was farmland. In the centre of the estate stands the Abbeydale Social Club that was started in the 1950s. It started as a little wooden hut and had to expand due to popularity. By the 1960s, the club was a thriving community club with local families and friends organising nights of entertainment, days out and a local football team. 
Years later, and it still has the same feel, and is still a local community meetup place. Numerous bar staff and customers have heard all sorts of noises coming from the function room and the skittle alley when not in use. Some being afraid when locking up at night. A smartly dressed elderly gentleman has been seen walking around. People have seen doors opening on their own and chairs moving when no one is around. One night the club was booked for a wedding anniversary. When the caterers were setting up, they suddenly felt a cold presence. They turned towards the exit and saw a man walking through it, away from them. In 2015, a decorator was working in the club when he had an eerie feeling. He set up the camera on his phone and left it running. It captured a door slamming open and a chair moving across the floor. The footage can be found on www.ghostsofredditch.co. UK. Thank you for listening. You can find out more at ghostsofredditch.co.uk. And if you have a ghost story to share, drop us a message on the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash ghostsofredditch.co.uk.